Royal Darlington, the Quakers haven't been at home to a first division side for nearly 30 years. But when they kick off against Chelsea in the fourth round replay, it's hard to believe the Quakers are struggling to keep out of the fourth division. They take the shock of Chelsea's first offensive without flinching. And if the pensioners think they're going to have an easy time, they've got a surprise coming. Chelsea right winger Braybrook passes to Tyndall, but the angle is too sharp and goalie Turner gathers with ease. Now it's Darlington on the attack. Out to the left wing where Tommy Moran shoots and the Quakers are one up. Two minutes later from a corner, Johnny McNichols scores the equaliser. So after a game and a half, Darlington are still holding the mighty pensioners to a draw. And as Chelsea struggle to pierce the Darlington defence, the excitement's terrific. But the Quakers hold firm, and soon they're worrying goalie Matthews again. Herbertson to Moran, but no. Back and forth the battle sways, with both sides making some very near misses. But no matter how hard they try, the pensioners just can't press an attack home. Time and again, goalie Turner saves the day. Chelsea battle on grimly, but the Darlington defence seems impregnable. Full time, and it's still one all. But extra time produces one of the most amazing six minutes ever seen in a cup tie. Darlington cuts through the weary pensioners like a knife through butter. And Moran scores! The crowd goes mad, but there's more to come. Harbertson puts a corner kick right in the goal math. Moran shoots, but it's skied. And Dave Carr heads a beauty. Darlington 3, Chelsea 1. And here comes Rutherford. He passes out to Moran. Tommy Moran centers across the goal mouth. And Ron Harbertson's there to bang it home. How's that for giant killing? And no one dares to call a 4-1 victory a fluke.